Hello, beautiful creatives. This is sort of the intro to the intro of this video because I actually had two completed sketchbooks and I was going to do another sketchbook tour video for you. But since I just did one the week before last, um, I was thinking it might be fun to do something else. This week's um, Patreon video, I took my patrons with me each day in the studio. So every day I was doing a little bit of filming for them to show them how my week unfolded in the studio. So I didn't get a chance to film a YouTube video. And the last minute today is, it's Thursday afternoon. We're in the miser, we are in the middle of another April blizzard. This is just crazy weather. But um, I spontaneously decided to go out and do some plein air snow painting. I had this crazy idea this morning to go out and let the snow, the actual snow falling on my page be part of my painting process. Um, Don thought I was crazy, and um, but it was fun. I just had this vision in my head that I would, you know, I've been falling so in love with watercolor again. And I was thinking, wow, what, you know, what if I just put out this watercolor and sort of did this intuitive, expressive, um, painting of what I was seeing and feeling around me and then let the snow take over and let the, the snow drops sort of melt into the painting. So that is what I do. Unfortunately, I was completely disorganized. It was a last minute thought. I hadn't planned it out well. Didn't have a tripod. I'm hand holding the camera. This is more the type of content that I would normally put on my Patreon um, because it's a little more intimate and a little more informal. Um, but I decided I would share it with you guys because I think it's so much fun. So if, you know, handheld videoing drives you crazy, if sort of being out of the frame a little bit here and there drives you crazy, it may not be the video for you, but if you get really excited by experimental, expressive work, like on the fly, let's see what happens if we do this, this is definitely the video for you. Because I was just having so much fun and the snow was sort of taking over. Um, and at the end of the video, I'll come back on and I'll show you the finished paintings. I haven't touched them uh, since I had them, you know, out in the snow. So I'll show you that. And then I may go back in and do some things to them, or I may not. I may just leave it. I'm afraid that if I go back in at this point, um, I'll take, I'll just take away too much of what the snow did. And I kind of want to leave it there. So this is the little kit that I brought out with me. Um, just a pencil, an oil pencil, um, my art toolkit, my tiniest art toolkit palette. This is the one that art toolkit sent me a couple of years ago to, um, demo for you guys. And when they sent it to me, it had a few, um, Da Vinci, I think it was Da Vinci Van Gogh watercolors in it. And I filled in the rest of the slots with my own Daniel Smith. There might be one or two M Graham in here. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. You could use any any quality brand of watercolor. You don't want to use something. I don't know if Japanese watercolor would do as well. I don't think it's as responsive. I don't think it moves as much. You want something high enough quality if you try this either. And now I've done a video before where I showed you, I think it was on Patreon where I painted in the rain and let the rain water sort of take over the painting. Very different in the snow, a lot of fun. The tiny little art toolkit palette and a water brush is really all I had with me. There's a pencil in here um, that I did end up using at one point, but it just goes to show you how small of a kit you can actually take with you and have lots of fun. Okay guys, so here is the video. Um, you get to watch me painting. Like I said, the quality is not that great, but I hope you enjoy it. And then I'll come back at the end and show you the dried paintings inside. Have fun. I hope you enjoy the video. Hello, beautiful creatives. It is April 4th and it is no April Fools that we are getting another blizzard. Wasn't it just last week I told you we were getting a blizzard and... Don's ATV battery is dead, so he can't plow. So I am going to forage through the snow a little bit and uh, just show you guys what's a winter wonderland we have right now. 
There's our forsythia bush. Those uh, evergreen boughs are weighed way down. I hope they don't break. Looks like somebody actually drove by. This is a dead end road. We only have a few families that live out here. It's so beautiful. It's a heavy snow though. Hard to walk through. You can barely see our barn down there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, look how cozy it looks under the evergreen boughs there. All right, well, it's not terribly cold out, but the snow stings when the wind blows it into your face. And the wind is picking up. It is super chilly when the wind's blowing that snow around and uh, it's really wet and heavy. So it's hard to walk through, but I'll show you what I was thinking of doing. I'm not sure it's actually gonna happen though because it's cold. All right, I'm in our carport now and I brought with me a little tiny plein air kit. And I was thinking of just doing a really, really quick painting. But you know what I just realized? I forgot my sketchbook. I did. I have watercolors in here and no sketchbook. Bummer. Hmm. And if I'm gonna get the sketchbook, I gotta trudge all the way back into the house. And that snow is thick to walk through. Hmm. Don's gonna go get my sketchbook for me. I guess my desperate whining worked. <laughs> I said, I forgot my sketchbook. He's such a good guy. Okay, we'll see. We'll see what happens with this idea of mine. I think I'm actually just gonna do some gestural marks of some of these twigs out here. I was having fun the other day. I think it was for my patrons that I did it, but painting the red raspberry. Um, those really, in the setting, in the afternoon sun, they were really red, those canes. So I thought I would just fool around with that. Maybe some of the bare tree branches. You know, it's not gonna be much because I'm already cold and I didn't bring mittens and the wind is more fierce than I thought it was, but um, we'll see what happens. Look at him trudging through the tundra, through the snow, through a blizzard to bring me- I made it. <laughs> no ham bone in you. Oh. To bring me a sketchbook. It was blinding. It was snow. blinding. Did you get snow blind, baby? Blinded. Oh my gosh. Thank you, my love. You're, You're our hero. I like that little chair setting in there. That looks pretty cute. I'm at the other end of the carport now. The other thing I realized, this was not well thought out because I don't have anywhere that I can set the camera to, um, <laughs> I was thinking I could set it on the car hood, but as you can see, that ain't gonna happen. So I probably can't film myself working. Okay, so I'm sitting in the back hatch of the car and this is what was in that little pouch. I brought a um, Creta Color Sepia Dark Oil Pencil and a Tombow Marker, which I'm not sure if this is waterproof, but we will find out if I use it. An eraser, my little art toolkit watercolor kit, and a water brush, so nothing fancy. And it's so funny that the last drawing that I did in this sketchbook is a lady sitting on the beach with a beach ball. But really just gonna do some studies. I'm just gonna look at those sticks in the bare trees, maybe the woodshed. I don't know, I'm just gonna play. It's snowing. It's probably the last snow of the season. I mean, I hope, one can hope. 
and um, I'm just gonna play and I'll show you where I'm at along the way. There's some of those sort of ochreish grass heads out there. I'm just looking through the camera now as I'm painting, so I can't even really see clearly what I'm doing, but I'm just more after exploring some gestural marks. Mixing up some darks with my ultramarine blue and my, it's probably burnt umber to get some darks in here. And this brush tip is shot. It's uh, totally frayed. So this is just, can't possibly get tight with this. I'm just sort of looking now at how these branches go here along the driveway and a lot of them seem to curve in towards the driveway and still aware of those red raspberry canes so i'm adding a little bit of this it's probably a lizard crimson or maybe a quinacridone color in here those um, yellow seed heads on that grassy stuff are kind of getting really buried in the snow. So you're not seeing them too much. They're kind of down low. get a really watered down ultramarine blue to try to define some shadows in the snow. I might actually want to put some of this dark. There's some Payne's gray. This is going to be the worst filming ever, but just to sort of show where the snow is having some peaks and valleys. The more you kind of let your eyes adjust, it's so bright, you know, you gotta, at first all you see is white and you gotta kind of let your eyes adjust. Now I'm gonna try to mix some, I'm actually just watching through my camera, so, it makes color mixing a little challenging, but I'm gonna to try to get some purple in there. What's that look like? Kind of purpley. Kind of a muted purple in some of these areas that I'm trying to represent snow. There's some kind of shape out there behind the shed that I think there's some wood under that, that kind of boxy shape. So I'm gonna take some brown, maybe some of this Titan buff. Um, I forget what M. Graham calls it in theirs and just sort of maybe suggest some round shapes out here. Oops, that was a little dark. The shapes are quite dark in comparison. It's very, this is precariously uh, balanced on my lap, so... Maybe what I'll do is put the camera down when I do the next one. And um, let's see, there's some, there's some little stumps there with some snow on them. They're very gray against the snow. I wanna be careful I don't get too dark.
And then there's what kind of defines the uh, top of the snow is the the twigs and things around them. This one has the blue on top, so I should have brought some white gouache. And then in the background, there's a bunch of trees that are just gray, but they've got some snow on them. So I'm gonna um, just kind of mix some colors and probably leave it at that. There's some evergreen back there. I could try to really lightly suggest some evergreens. Maybe I'll just wet some areas and pop in some green. Let's see. A lot of white on there, which um, I'm not going to worry too much about portraying. I'll leave white areas, you know, like on the top. But I just want that to feel like it's in the distance behind these, so I don't want to get too carried away with it. And then there's some kind of greenish colors over here. Let me get out here where the light is a little better. So, next to my beach girl, there is my representation of what I'm kind of seeing out there. With the sticks and the brambles. I like how the snow sort of blew in and made marks on that tree trunk right there. Let's see if I can set this down and still have enough light. Yeah, I like how the snow blew in and made those marks in the darks. So that's kind of fun. I'm very happy with it. I'm really happy with it. Okay, so I just stuck it outside again to get a picture of it and I love the marks the snowflakes are making. Oh my gosh, that's so much fun. So, they're just so random, you know? So I'm gonna try to do, just lay out some paint on the next page, and then, you know, kind of inspired by what I'm seeing over here, and then um, I'm gonna stick it out under the snow and see what happens with it. So we'll see. This is kind of fun. Who knows what's gonna show up. Okay, so. This is where I'm at now. Dawn's plowing, so there's going to be weird noises in the background. <laughs> this little ATV. The neighbor just stopped by and did a swipe in the driveway with his plow truck and uh, um, helped Dawn jumpstart the ATV. So I'm focusing on those evergreens there, those hemlocks, um, and just the way the branches and the trunks come down. So this is what I've got so far. It's kind of hard setting things, but this is what I've got. I'm doing the color mixing on the paper, which is so much fun. And the snow is blowing in while I'm doing that. Um, so it's making all kinds of gorgeous marks. If it doesn't, if when I bring this in, it doesn't show up, I'll try to film it inside, but there are just so many gorgeous blooms and cauliflowers happening while I'm mixing these uh, colors for the trunks. And um, I'm just dabbing colors into the wet paint. So I'm gonna stick it out here in the snow again and just let it get some snowdrops on it. and see what it does. It's just making really gorgeous blooms. Wow, that is so cool. I mean, it's so random. So then my thought is on this, do I want to see how I sort of 
put some background color in here, some atmospheric, just a really light sense of atmosphere. I'm wondering if I want to do that in between here. I feel like it could overwhelm it. I feel like, you know, I've got a little hint, maybe just a few more hints, but I feel like it's really nice to leave some of the white paper. I could play around with getting some more darks. I do think it's looking lighter out here and this really bright sunlight than it actually is. Um, so I may have to show, I'm just trying to get a different angle so you can see it because it's, I think it's darker than it's showing up, but I'll show it inside when it's done. But um, yeah, these are really fun. Just letting, letting the snow make blooms. Look at that. Wow, that is so cool. Okay, so that's number two. There's two of them. And I'm actually really happy with both of them. But I wouldn't be upset if I wasn't because they're just experiments. I actually really love both of them. So I'm going to let this dry a little bit and then do one more. Okay, so this is the second one. Or the third one, actually. And um, I haven't... I'm going to take it out into the snow. I think I'd like to cover this one, though, because I don't want more wet on this one right at the moment so i'm going to take this one out and just hold it under the snow and let it get some of those marks in it poor don he's having so much trouble with his atv right now for plowing Okay, let's see what that snow does as it moves the watercolor around. Ooh, got some good marks. Oh, look at that big clump of snow there. I think we've got some good marks happening there. Cool. All right. Got a big clump there that's gonna melt. And nice marks all through here. Wow, really like it. All oh, this is going to be snow, snowdrops that's melting. And uh, when it dries, there'll be nice blooms from that. So then what I was thinking of doing on this one is I brought this one pencil. Um, and I think I'm going to make, you know, there's just so much scraggly stuff out there. I'm kind of focusing on this area where there's these trees coming up and the scraggly stuff and you're just getting a little bit of the evergreens in there so um i think i'm going to see what happens if i take this oil pencil and uh to sepia and just make some marks in there i don't know if i can do it while i'm filming because i don't think this is very stable here but let's see what happens just really loosely holding the pencil at the end and getting a sense of that really crowded area of brambles and um, berry bushes and young trees coming up among the watercolor suggestion of evergreens and deciduous trees. With a lot of these trees, I'm just literally taking the colors straight off the palette and then mixing. So then I'll take some of this reddish color and uh, just mixing it right on the page. The page is so wet, the colors are just mixing. So let's take some of this red and some of this ultramarine blue and just mix it right in with that. A little bit more red. And just some squiggly lines. Yeah, it's just working really well. I think Don thought I was crazy when I said I'm going to go paint in the snow and uh, let the snow go all over the paintings. I think he was like, what? Uh, 
have some of this brown. This brush is so beat up, I can't really get thin lines with it anymore. Just a suggestion of those berry bushes. I absolutely love this part here. All right. Let some more snow get on it and then see what happens. All right, I think I'm actually gonna pack up and go in now. I got three paintings done that I'm really pleased with and uh, I enjoyed it. My hands are starting to get cold and he's gonna be making a lot of noise plowing, so it's probably a good time to end. I will see you inside. The neighbor came by and plowed the road, at least up to his house, which is nice. It looks so beautiful. What a great day to be out and get a little painting done. If my hands weren't getting so cold, I would do some more, but I didn't bring mittens. It's hard to paint in mittens, gloves, you know, so I'm gonna head in, but I feel satisfied with what I got done. Look who's waiting at the door for me. Toshi. Hello. Hello, little buddy. Did everybody leave you alone? Did everybody leave you alone? He's happy. You're happy I'm back, huh? Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that really impromptu plein air snow painting video. Um, and I hope you'll give something like that a try for yourself because it's all about exploring and having fun and just making marks on the page. And some things work and some things don't work. Here is um, what the painting looked like. The first painting after it dried and um, here are the other two paintings which actually read pretty much like they could be one painting uh, you know they were scenes that were right next to each other and I think they do fit together maybe I will even I think I'll even flip the camera up in my other stand and, and aim down at it so I can point out some of the marks to you. But the marks are incredible. They're so random and so unique. Just like every snowflake is shaped differently, these marks are so cool. I don't believe I could have gotten that same effect by spritzing water or by sprinkling salt because they're just so unique. It was so much fun. But let me flip the camera and I'll, sh I'll show them to you on an overhead shot. I love the irony of how the last drawing that I had done in this sketchbook was a beach scene, a beach drawing next to this. Um, but this, this was amazing. The marks that I got on these paintings um, are so serendipitous. It's nothing that I would have planned or I would have been able to recreate on my own. I really, really enjoyed this process. Um, yeah, I would do it again. I would definitely do it again and play around with that. But I got my impression of the straw, the raspberry, wild raspberry canes, the red stalks, the little bits of grass, dried grass seed heads. They were like these, um, you know, the dried flowers on weedy grass that was out there. Uh, I got the impressions of those and sort of some atmospheric uh, impressions. There was some wood out there under a pile of snow and some tree stumps, just very lightly rendering things and then sort of letting the snow take over. 
Same with these. These were done as two different paintings, but I think they actually go together really well as one painting. Um, just these evergreen boughs that were so weighted down with snow. If I had had white gouache with me, I might have gone in and, and sort of added back in that layer of snow, but I'm almost glad I didn't have it with me because I just feel like there's a really organic feel to these paintings. Uh, the way they came out and the way the snow, it's just the watercolor. There's nothing, no heavy pigments, no opaque pigments sitting on top of it. It just feels very natural to me. This part here, I just thought was crazy cool. I love that section. Yeah, there's some gorgeous sections in here. This too. I mean, these pages were getting so wet by the time... I was finishing up this these trees the the marks in these bark areas of the trees um just I was just mixing the paint on the page so much fun so much fun to play around this way so it just goes to show you you know the days that you might not feel like getting outside because there's a blizzard outside and we're all waiting for spring. We're waiting for our daffodils to pop. And we already had some crocuses that were popping. That's actually a painting that's coming up um, for my patrons probably on Monday. That will be up where I did, I did some other paintings of the raspberry canes and the crocuses and things like that. So really fun way to spend a little bit of time outside on a snowy day when I might not have otherwise gotten outside. So even though it was kind of a splotchy, um, you know, not very well filmed video, I hope you did enjoy it. I hope that that spontaneity uh, in the way that I filmed it and sort of the awkwardness of hand holding the camera actually made you feel more like you were there than if I had had a fancy tripod set up and you know got these perfect shots. I hope it gave you more of a sense of actually being there with me being out in the cold and the snow and allowing the snow to participate really in these paintings and to take a role in how these paintings came out. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to my channel. That really helps me know what content you like best. And I know all of you know already, it's uh, YouTube's algorithm can be punishing if you don't get enough thumbs up within the first so many hours of your painting. Uh, you're posting your video and it won't push the video forward. So those thumbs ups really are important to all of us, all of us creators. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Have a great creative week. Talk to you later. Bye.